Hey guys, it's Erica, and today I will be finally giving you a tour of my houseplants that I keep outside. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we'll get into it. Okay, so I think we'll start here. Well, first of all, up here I have a Monstera adansonii. And this is a narrow form, so you can see the leaves are <laughs> narrow, kind of like the name suggests. And this plant needs to be repotted very badly. So you can see there's like yellowing leaves and it's not really retaining the water that it needs to. So I need to water it really often. So it definitely needs to be repotted and then hopefully all of this sadness will clear up. And I've fertilized it too. So we're gonna wait on it to improve its condition and then I'm probably gonna like chop down a bunch of the leaves because it's pretty long it's, it's probably like the longest plant that I have and then down here this is my rubber tree and over here I am attempting a propagation but I'm attempting a propagation there so hopefully it'll work and you can see here that there are some burned leaves and a lot of times I put my plants or I water my plants in the area near the hose and then I'll kind of leave them to dry overnight and then I don't wake up early enough to move them before the sun hits them. So that's what happened to this guy and you're gonna see that other plants have that problem too. Down here I have a part of my whale fin Sansevieria and this one is this one is the one that looks really nice. The other one has deformed leaves. And then here is my alocasia lowrider. It has lettuce leaves. I always say this one's on its way out, but that's okay because there's a new one coming in here. It's just a very cute plant overall. And then up here is my outdoor orchid section. Okay, so I rescued them in a video. This is a piece of it, that's a piece of it, and this one doesn't look like it's doing too too well. But this one over here, there's some new growth coming in, which is awesome. And then this is also a rescue orchid. This is just a regular one, and I need to put it into a bigger pot because its roots are kind of suffering from being like this. So I need to find a bigger pot for it, but I haven't found one yet. So it's just been sitting there like that. When I bought it, it had a flower, but I cut it off. So hopefully it does okay. And I also have this orchid. I don't really know how it's doing. I hope it's recovering. It has some roots coming out here. So I take that as a good sign, but honestly, I'm not really sure. And I don't really know which way it's growing either but I assume it's growing this way. This is a spring cactus, and you can see it has some blooms. This one has already died off. This one's about to bloom. This is just my baby one, so I love it. When I saw it was blooming, I was so happy. And then this is my fishbone cactus, which looks like it could use some water. Um, but yeah, it's been growing a lot. Usually I don't keep it here. I'll show you where I keep it, but I have moved it here for the sake of space and having a walkway. And then down here I have a Raphidophora tetrasperma and I recently fertilized it because it kind of seems like it has a nutrient deficiency, which you can see the leaves are kind of yellowy. They look like they're kind of like a type of variegation, but that is most likely a nutrient deficiency so I fertilized it with some fish fertilizer recently and hopefully it will it will grow out some leaves that aren't nutrient deficient right here hanging is one of my money string of hearts <laughs> up here on my shelf uh, filled it up with plants but this is my philodendron pedatum you can see it's very dusty so I'm gonna have to clean that off soon. I think I should water it today so hopefully it will be okay and this plant used to be a lot taller 
which is why the stake goes up so high, but I propagated it. You can see where I cut it off. And I'm just waiting for to plant that because it's it's um its roots are kind of big. And then down here I have my two string of hearts, which I don't know if they look like they've grown a lot. I honestly propagated one of them or both of them, I'm not sure. But I think they've grown, like from what I can see, they have grown a lot. And they're so pretty and they look like candy, so I just love them. And then here is my ficus audrey. And I had been looking for a fic audrey ficus for quite a while, but usually when they're sold, they're only like really big versions. And I clearly do not have any space for really big versions. But I really love this one. It's so tiny. It was $27 from Armstrong Garden Center and this leaf just recently came out and it has a new leaf a new leaf starting to come out and let me tell you this thing grows so slowly so if you want a big tree you gotta buy a big tree because these things grow so slow but their leaves are kind of soft and they don't really feel like how i expected they would feel so that's cool and over here i have a peperomia glabella and this is one that i just potted up and this leaf looks like it's about to go, but that's okay. So I have to keep my eye on this plant and the other ones that I just recently potted up because I cannot let their soil completely dry out. Otherwise, their <laughs> roots are going to be very sad. So I always have to keep my eye on this plant and all the other ones that I recently potted up. Usually, I let my plants dry out and they're fine. But for ones that I just potted, no, that's not an option. <laughs> And then here is my Monstera Thai Constellation. This is where it has lived ever since I moved it outside. These four, or these plants right here, except for this one that I recently added, have lived here for quite a while. So it's, it's really been doing well here. Um, it has a new leaf that's soon, oh, you can see it better now. It has a new leaf that's soon to come out. So I'm super excited about that. And I finally got to remove the ugly tape that was around it because its roots are strong enough so that it can hold itself up and it has no problem doing that so i'm so happy about that it's such a beautiful plant yay so splashy leaves and then coming down here this is a asparagus fern and you can see it is all crispy and dried out and that is because I forgot to water it for quite some time, so I'm hoping that it'll come back, which I really think that it will. Even if it doesn't, I have this as like a plant growing in my backyard, so I could just get a new one. But yeah, it got really crispy and sad, so I need to keep my eye on watering that one too. And this is a plant that I recently potted as well. This is my Scandapsis pictus exotica. I also just potted this one up, so I've been keeping the soil moist, and there's a lot of mold. I think it's mold growing on here, so I need to wipe that off, but I just recently moved it outside because I had it under my grow lights. All the plants that I just potted up, I recently moved outside, but this is where it's going to live, and so that's probably why it has the mold, but I still need to wipe it off. And here, this is my silver dollar, and I just potted it in here. I repotted it from the soil it originally came in because I feel like that soil wasn't really good for it. Like, I also had a Hoya macrophylla that I bought, but it died. And I think it's because the soil was in stayed soggy for way too long, and I didn't repot it. So I don't want that to happen to this guy, so I repotted it in some really well-draining soil, and hopefully it lives. It looks like it's doing all right now, but you can see there was no new growth coming out. These are all dry stalks. And now hopefully it'll grow and it'll be okay because it's such a pretty plant. I love these little round circular leaves. They're just so cute. And then down here, this is just a regular um, heart leaf philodendron. And this one does have some burned leaves up here. This is from the sun, same story of what happened to my rubber tree. And over here I have two string of dolphins plants. They're growing pretty long. Down here I have a philodendron Brazil. 
so cute, so tiny. It's growing pretty big now. And a Scandopsis Pictus Exotica. This is a really small one that I have. And this is a Cebu Blue. I really think that the leaves on this one are so, so pretty. They're just so shiny and this really light. They're like a grayish, greenish blue. They're so beautiful. I really love them. And on my, the, on my mother pothos, because this is a cutting, um, they don't really have this coloration. So I think that's really nice. But this is a propagation of my mother pothos. Any Cebu blues you will see around are a propagation from my mother plant because I only started off with one, but they've been growing really well and this is like its own little plant now, so I'm very happy about it. Over here, I have a Monstera adansonii. You can see this is a regular form. It has so many fenestrations. This thing is has really big leaves. And up here are some more Hoyas. So this is my Hoya um, Pubicalyx, and it used to live up here it would hang up here but for some reason the leaves would always look like this and I would trim them off and then looking at it later again the leaves would look like this again I'm not sure what it is to me it kind of looked like the leaves are burnt but I don't see how it would get burnt when it's living up here where sunlight can't even hit there so I don't know I'm just confused about it I've moved it here so that I can keep keep my eye on it because half of it is doing extremely well like this half is thriving and then this half here is just like sad and dying ish and seeing Hoyas look like this just scares me because I don't know what's wrong with it and this here this is my Hoya obovada this one is doing really fantastic it was also living where the, the pupacalyx was, but I moved it down because it kind of looked a little bit ugly there. It doesn't look the nicest here, but I'm just going to keep it here. And this is my other philodendron pedatum. It's doing well here. It's, it's fine. <laughs> and down here this is my oh let me turn it this is my monstera deliciosa <laughs> propagation and it's in the most ugly setup of all time so please don't <laughs> so don't come for me because i know it's so ugly this is literally a plastic chopstick which by the way i hate plastic chopsticks but yeah it's a plastic chopstick and i had some twine and i added this on because these leaves falling was just a little bit too much for me so i added this part and <laughs> it looks a little bit better but it's still pretty awful and i just recently moved this um this zz plant out here because i want it to get more sunlight because i want it to grow bigger because it is very sparse and i'm not really feeling this look i used to like this look like i specifically split up a zz plant so that i could have a sparse one so i don't know what i was thinking but yeah i did that so now i want this one to get bigger because i like the bigger ones now this is my diffenbachia this one used to live inside actually on the inside of this window but i bred them outside because my mom wants some plants outside of the house <laughs> so now it's just living out here hopefully it does well i think it'll be okay right here is my fiddle leaf fig if you have seen my rescuing uh rescuing clearance plants video from a long time ago this is that same fiddle leaf fig and it's done extremely well except I, p I left it outside, like not covered by the patio, and it has tipped over because the wind was blowing on it, so I'm gonna have to stake it or something because this is just not okay. When I bought it, these leaves right here were growing out. These two leaves were going out, so it has grown all this way since I've owned it. 
and I remember when these leaves finally unfurled because they were barely unfurling when I got the plant. I was like, what the heck? These leaves are so deformed. But the leaves since I've had it have grown out beautiful, flawless. But you can kind of see when I messed up caring, on the, caring for the plant right here. Because I don't know what's going on with these leaves, but these leaves came out tiny. I don't know if it's because I missed a watering because they're kind of picky about their watering schedule. I feel like that's it, but I don't know why these leaves are so tiny. Maybe because they grew too close together to these other leaves. It was literally putting out like these three leaves at once. So I don't know what was going on with that, but it looks so good. It's grown so much since I've gotten it and I love it. On this table here, I have some plants, obviously. <laughs> so this is my Scandapsis pictus argirius. This one used to live in my room, but I decided to move it out here because you can see that it, it wasn't getting as much sunlight as I would like. And I like to reserve my grow lights for plants that aren't able to live outside or I would feel uncomfortable having them live outside so this baby got kicked out and <laughs> it's now living out here but it's okay it's gonna live its best life out here and then over here is my mother Cebu Blue Pothos and by the way I got this original Cebu Blue at Walmart I feel like I've gotten a lot of questions about that so I got it at Walmart and it was completely a fluke I wasn't even expecting to look at plants when I was there and when I was walking into the store because I usually walk in through the garden center I walked in and then this plant was hanging on the clearance rack and it wasn't even like sad or anything so I picked it up and my parents were like oh my gosh like what the heck you don't need any more plants but I bought it anyways and I don't regret it at all so yeah and then I've heard a lot of people have been buying it buying their plants from Walmart and everything it's absolutely gorgeous I repotted it into this large pot in a video. <laughs> I feel like I do everything in a video, so um, yeah, my stickers, not cute, so I still need to go through removing them. And then over here, this one I just recently moved here to. This is my, um, my Peperomia Hope, and I don't think it's doing well. I'm not the best at caring for Peperomias, although let me tell you, I have improved immensely. But I don't think this one is doing too well because the leaves here are kind of squishy and they're kind of puckering and that always makes me nervous. So I brought it out here to live and hopefully it will survive in the sun. And of course I have the Goodwill stickers on here still. Whenever I find gray pots like this, they always used to hold orchids. Yeah, that's that's cool. I'm glad people donate them because I love these pots. This is my favorite color pot. But these three are just living here. They're the three musketeers. Moving on. Over here, I have my Sansevieria section pretty much. Um, this is one of my philodend philodendron uh, Monstera Deliciosas. This one has suffered from being burned. As you can see, I feel so sad. But these burns are pretty old. Like when burns start getting crispy like this, that's how you know they're old burns. This is actually, I think, my first Monstera Deliciosa that I ever owned and it has grown a lot, I would say, since I've had it. I put it into this cute little pot that I got from Urban Outfitters that was extremely overpriced but that was when I was still trying to make my plants look cute, you know, instead of just having a whole bunch of them to love on. So yeah, this is where it's living and I love it and I hope I never burn it again. But I don't think I will. There's some new leaf coming out right there. And I'm excited to see how big it is. I want to see how many fenestrations it has. Because this one hasn't had any... Well, it barely even has like any fenestrations at all. So I cannot wait until it starts getting at least like a double fenestrations. You know what I mean? And down here, this is another propagation of a... Uh, 
Skindapsis Pixis Exotica. And these are some cuttings. These are some leaves of a Peperomia Hope that I was trying to propagate. I don't think it's working out. I should have just put it in a plastic baggie. But I just leave it up here so that whatever water runs out from that goes to this Exotica. And down here I have my other Rapid Fora Tetrasperma that I have staked on a wooden chopstick this time. It's not staked properly, I just have it like that so that it will stay up. And I recently fertilized this one too since I bought them like at the same time. And these are my Sansevierias. These, this is most of my Sansevieria collection, definitely not all of them. Here is my, my Lieblings. This plant is, well it's called my Liebling, that's all I can tell you. It's German for my darling though, so that's cool. And it has these really amazing like dark green leaves and they are super stiff and hard. I just really love how this plant looks. It's just such a beautiful, like look at these leaves coloring. Is that not so good? We got a stripe of green, of some dark green. Those are just some really good stripings. And we got some like pattern going on. And I love how in the background here you see a really sad leaf. Yeah, it's been putting out some new growth, so that's always good. I always love to see that. And here is my other half of my whale fin. This is the other half, and you can see like this one leaf is so deformed. It's just literally a taco. This is not a whale fin. This is like, I don't even know. This is a whale in itself. So that's the little taco leaf, but I really love this leaf. Okay, I moved over to see better, but this leaf is like so good. It literally is like my favorite leaf ever. It's just so nice. It's such a nice leaf. And over here, this is a snake plant that I rescued a long time ago. It was someone literally like looks like they ripped it out as if it was a weed or something. So I put it in, I potted it up actually in this pot, and it has grown so much it literally looks like a new plant like the only sign that you can tell that this used to be <laughs> a sad plant is because this leaf is cut this leaf is split in half okay so that is why i have the tie on because otherwise it would be fanning out like crazy but is this not so nice that looks so good okay and then over here let me move this stuff over this is my oh it's rough okay this is my um kirkii copper tone kirkii and i really love the brown color it looks so good and i there's a lot of spider webs on my plants because a lot of spiders live in the backyard but let's just ignore that <laughs> and it has a new leaf coming out this one looks more like desert like and this one okay this one looks like underwater seaweed kind of and then this one looks like it would live in the desert it has this really nice like bordering that a whale fin has you know but this one's a darker brown it's just so good it's just such a good good coloring i love it so let me move it back and i need to keep an eye on this because when it grows i don't want it to be you know hitting this but that's what we have there this is a samurai dwarf and when i bought this plant it had glued down rocks under it so i took them out but it's doing really well so i'm really glad that i did that and yeah i love this plant it's so nice i love all my plants <laughs> but here is a oh my gosh there's so many spiders uh, the thing about spiders too is like you can't hose them away even if you hose their web away, which is super difficult, they're gonna come back and build another one. So I'm so annoyed by these spiders. Anyways, this is my moonshine snake plant. It's looking real nice. I think it needs some water right now, so I'm gonna have to water it. Yeah, and this one is like so different from my other ones. Like, do you see this range? Like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. I love like how all of them are such different colors. Anyways, so this here is 
the moonshine one it's a very light minty green color the bordering on this one is a dark green color so i just love that it's just so good put put it back over here to live with its spider friends this is my philodendron celloum it's, it's philodendron celloum <laughs> This is my rubber tree that I got from DIY Home Center for only $20. This huge tree was only $20. That's crazy, right? That leaf is burned. That leaf's a little burned. So that's sad life, but we just gotta prevent, prevent it from ever happening again and we'll be good. Over here is my Bonnie spider plant, curly spider plant and i need to chop off these babies because they're kind of crisping up and this plant definitely could use a bigger pot but i like to keep it kind of root bound so that it won't put out more babies so that's why i haven't repotted it yet because this thing is jabungo it's really big over here are my string of pearls i'm not sure what that plant is that's actually my mom's plant so it just lives there and then this is another Adansonii. I have trimmed this plant back so many times. I sold cuttings from it and yeah, it's been doing really well. It's growing, growing back again for the springtime. So this is a jade pothos, which I think it's my favorite kind of pothos. I keep flip-flopping, but I'm pretty sure the jade is my favorite because it's just so luscious and green and it just looks so good, so good. Here's another Adansonii that I've cut back so many times and I've sold cuttings from it. This is the only Hoya that's staying up here. This is a Crinkle 8 and it's been doing really well. You can see it's grown, like it just keeps growing and growing. So this one I'm fine to leave up here because it's been, it's been doing nothing but thriving. So why would I move it, you know? Got a little distracted from this section. This, I actually don't know what it's called. This is what it's called. This is my mom's plant. It's really beautiful. I love these flowers. I saw pink, a pink version of this, and I like that one even more. So if I could get a pink one, I'm gonna get a pink one because these are so lovely, but the pink ones are just way too good. They're so good. Pink is like my favorite color. Oh. <laughs> and here, I'm not sure what this plant is either but yep it's growing this was a i don't remember what it's called but it's a really pretty plant this is my mom's plant too and i'm not sure what's why it's dead like this it might be for not enough watering i don't know it's a flower name i'll put it i'll put it here so you can know and then there's also this plant growing up this well, I put it so that it would grow up here and it's actually starting to work. I think it looks so good like on the brick. So I've kind of hung it up on these little things. If I could, I would make it wrap around, but I'm not really sure how to do that. And it's kind of um, grown too much to start that, I think, in my opinion. So I think this is the next best thing right here we're getting into the kind of the sunny area this is um this is my ficus and this is a variegated one we have big ones like as outdoor well this is outdoor too so I guess this is an outdoor plant but we have really big ones and they're not variegated so i wanted to get the variegated kind because i really like how it looks it's just so cute and in here I have hidden away my variegated Boston fern and this is also my fern it's not a Boston fern though but it lives there it does it does so well there so I decided to put my Boston fern with it and also just so you know like the new growth of Boston ferns is so fragile like I accidentally broke this off just by like moving the leaves around so I'm not gonna touch it anymore but I really want to show you like the variegation 
It's so nice. It looks like it's been hydro, dip hydro dipped. It's so pretty. I love these leaves. When I first saw it, I was kind of shocked by how beautiful these leaves are and that this is even a thing. So they're like marbled. And it's not looking that great. I'm waiting for the new new leaves, the new growth to come in because the new growth is perfect. Like this is a new new growth and it looks it looks absolutely amazing. So I'm just waiting for all the new growth to come in and I've been chopping off the dead leaves as we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover that back up. There we go. These are two peperomia, or these are three peperomia obtusifolias. And these, this one is my mom's and look how gigantic it is. It is so big. When she first got it, it was as small as this one. This is mine. <laughs> this is my Peperomia obtusifolia. This is a variegated one. I think it's so pretty. And I put it in this adorable pot. I think this is just like the cutest thing ever. But um, yeah, I've had it for a really long time. My mom has not had hers for as long as I've had mine and hers is like gigantic. She recently repotted it into a bigger pot. So yeah, she tells me that she just forgets about it and then comes outside and takes care of it whenever she remembers. But if I do that, <laughs> it just doesn't work out the same for me. And then this one is also mine, but I have my mom take care of it because she's obviously way better than, than me but my grandma gave me this one and my grandma got her from a really good price she said she said there's this she keeps telling me to tell you guys but i keep forgetting that there's this home depot garden club so you get 10 percent off every time you order plants or something you sign up for email and that's how she got this plant for really cheap i don't remember how much it was but i know that it was really cheap so pro tip from my grandma <laughs> This is also another Adansonia that I have, and this one I have been chopping down. I have all new growth coming out of it because ugh, I just love that new growth. And it's looking really great, so I'm really happy with it. This is a little propagation thing I have. Um, there's a whole bunch of different plants in here. So there's a Cebu Blue, a Mykins, and an Adansonii all in one cup. So. That's going on. I don't know why I have it outside, honestly, but I, I do. <laughs> right here, I have my string of dolphins plant and my mom's elephant plant, so that's pretty cool. Down here is where my, I don't know if you remember at the beginning of the video, but my spring cactus and my um, fishbone cactus used to be, but I had to move them because there's just too many plants down here. But this is my mom's basil and their herbs, I guess. I don't really know what these are I think this is mint I'm not sure but I planted um, catnip into this pot so it kind of looked like an empty pot with soil in it so my dad planted this in it I think they're chives I don't really know but I was like oh my catnip but then I started seeing these little things pop up and I looked it up and that is catnip. So my catnip has survived and it's growing and I'm so happy because I planted them from seed. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. This is a, my spring cactus, my other spring cactus. It looks awful. Some of it looks really good. Like these flowers are so cute. Look at them, I love them. They look so adorable. This is just the happiest little cactus ever. And then over here, I don't know what is going on because it was doing great and then one day it just looked so shriveled up like this and I'm not sure what happened. I've been watering it. I have a feeling that it got too hot. So some of it is okay and then some of it is just not okay. But I'm glad that there are at least some that parts that are really okay because these flowers I think I like them even better than the than the, the winter ones because these are so cute and I love this color. I'm so happy with this. It's so adorable. So let me put it back. And I have it in a pink pot because it's so cute. <laughs> and then over here, I have Thanksgiving cactus in here, Thanksgiving cactus here, Thanksgiving cactus here. 
As you can see, I really love Thanksgiving cactuses and they do super well here. So yeah, that's why they live here. I'm s I don't know what to do about this plant. I feel so sad that it looks so sad, but yeah. This is my little cactus center. That's why I had my spring cactus here and my um, my fishbone cactus because this is like, this is their spot. Like my snake plant section, this is my epiphytic cactus spot. <laughs> I really wanna get an orchid cactus, so that would go with them. But I need to find a spot. I don't know where I would put them because I want, I like them all together like this because I know they all thrive here, except for this one. I don't know what happened. Like, these all look great. Even though they have a ton of spider webs on them, I'm sorry, I tried to take them off, but they keep coming back, so I'm just over it. But it was doing really well until one random day. So I don't know what happened, but uh, these flowers are just so gorgeous and I wish the whole plant was healthy so the whole plant could be full of flowers. That makes me really sad. Up here is my Hoya Hindu rope. This is like one of my favorite Hoyas of all time. I love the crinkly leaves. They're just like tentacles. I love them so much. And this one has been growing consistently. So I leave it here because it loves it here. This is my string bean plant. It loves it here too. So I'm never going to move it. It's gotten really long. And this is my $10 string of hearts plant, which I've never found a cheaper string of hearts plant. This one I got from Nelson's Nursery. I just couldn't pass it up, so here it is. Here, don't mind this area. I'm planning on transforming this area into something, but I don't know what, because it gets some good shade, so I could probably put house plants here. <gasps> that would be so good. Then I could have more plants. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, anyways, this is my Monstera that I repotted. This is not where it used to live, but I put it here so that it will grow up the moss pool. And because where I have it, like usually I would have it under my patio, so it would only get sunlight from one side, so it would all be like, that's why all the leaves are facing this way because it would only get sun from here but I want it to be more like well-rounded so that it can grow up this moss pole so I have it sitting out here my beautiful monstera and it's already putting out some new growth that is a new leaf coming out this is a new leaf coming out I think it really liked being repotted into this this pot it's just doing so well I'm so happy yay and then I have one more Deliciosa after this. Okay, so here are some plants. This is my Syngonium. And these, both of these plants used to be hanging in my house, but they got kicked out of my house. Like my mom literally <laughs> hung them out here. Kind of like how my Diffenbachia got kicked out of the house. So they live here now, I guess. This one really needs to be watered, so I'm going to do that after this video. Um, once I water it, it'll perk up again though, so that's okay. But I got it for $3, so that was a steal. And I have another one too, but that one's in my room. And then this is a golden pothos. I love it so much. It's, it's amazing, but now it lives out here, I guess. And it does look a little bit happier. Not really, it looks the same. This is my last Monstera de la Seosa that I have, and it is my biggest one by far. And it's lived here for its entire life, it gets like the same kind of lighting it would get in, you know, the rainforest or wherever it would live. So um, you can see there was some ripped leaves. Some of it got burnt, but I let it stay there because this is like the same conditions they have in the rainforest. So I feel like the plant is gonna adapt to this lighting and it has, it has adapted. It's gotten a whole bunch of new leaves I'm pretty sure this is a new leaf. This is a new leaf. And look at these fenestrations. Oh my gosh. This one is unfurling. This is absolutely huge. Um, let's see. Look at this leaf. These fenestrations. And there's this leaf unfurling. Overall, I think it's adapted very well to this section. And I guess it kind of knows how to avoid the sun now. But this one is living here because it's too big to fit anywhere else so i just let it do its thing and by the way this is where i keep all my pots and stuff so it lives with my pots this is the last 
thing that I wanted to show you. These are my dragon fruit, fruit plants that I potted. This is the one that was rooted in water first and it already has, oops, sorry, this beautiful new growth. Oh my gosh, that is a ton of new growth, right? So good. And this one is the one that wasn't rooted in water, but it's here for soil. And I'm gonna say I prefer rooting in water because this one already has new growth. This one is kind of sad. It doesn't have any new growth. I don't even know if it's rooted yet. I think it is, I'm not sure. And here is my cactus. I'm gonna write the name on it because I forgot. <laughs> and I feel like it doesn't look like it's doing well. It, it looks so puckered. Usually it's like this, like smooth like this, but it's all puckered up here. So I need to kind of figure out what's going on, but I love this cactus so much. It's my favorite cactus, honestly. So yeah, that's the last of what I wanted to show you guys. So those are pretty much all of my houseplants that I have out here. Um, I honestly really enjoyed filming this video because it kind of felt like I was doing a nursery tour again and I really miss filming those videos. Those videos are one of my favorites to film. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!